Ever wondered if your relationship is built to last? Or found yourself lying awake at night, worrying about whether you and your partner are truly compatible? Look, we've all been there. The truth is, relationships take work, and sometimes, no matter how much effort you put in, the signs are there, telling you it might be time to move on. Recognizing these signs early on is crucial. It can save you from a world of heartache and wasted time down the road. In this video, we're diving deep into the nine early warning signs that your relationship might not stand the test of time. Let me tell you something, folks. Disagreements in relationships are normal. It's healthy, even. Disagreements can lead to growth and understanding if handled properly. But when every little thing turns into a screaming match, you've got a problem. It's not just about the volume, it's about the frequency and intensity of these arguments. If you find yourselves constantly butting heads, and I mean constantly, over every little thing, it's a major red flag. This isn't just a rough patch, it's a sign of deeper issues that need addressing. It's like a car alarm going off 24-7. Eventually you just want to rip the wires out. The constant noise becomes unbearable and it drowns out any chance of peace or understanding. This constant arguing creates a toxic environment, breeding resentment and pushing you further apart. It erodes the foundation of your relationship, making it hard to remember why you were together in the first place. Remember folks, relationships should be built on love and respect, not on who can yell the loudest. Mutual respect and understanding are key to a healthy relationship. If you're stuck in this cycle of negativity, it's time to ask yourselves, is this really what we want? Take a step back and evaluate. Sometimes seeking help from a counsellor or therapist can provide new perspectives and solutions. Don't be afraid to seek help. It's a sign of strength, not weakness. Remember, the goal is to build a stronger, healthier relationship where both partners feel heard and valued. You know, communication is the lifeblood of any relationship. It's how you connect, understand each other's needs and navigate the ups and downs of life together. But when communication breaks down, the foundation of your relationship starts to crumble. If you find yourselves living like ships passing in the night, barely talking or just going through the motions, that's a big problem. It's like trying to read a book with half the pages missing. You're never going to get the full story. This lack of communication breeds misunderstandings, resentment and loneliness. It creates a void that can be filled with doubt, suspicion and ultimately drive you apart. Trust is the bedrock of any healthy relationship. It's the foundation upon which everything else is built. Without trust, even the strongest bonds can crumble. Without it, you're building your house on sand. Imagine trying to construct a home on an unstable foundation. It's bound to collapse. If you can't trust your partner, how can you expect them to trust you? Trust is mutual. It requires effort and commitment from both sides. It's a two-way street, folks. Both partners need to feel secure and confident in each other's intentions and actions. When trust is broken, it can be incredibly difficult to rebuild. It takes time, patience, and a lot of honest communication. It's like trying to put back together a shattered vase. You might be able to glue the pieces back together, but the cracks will always be there. These cracks can serve as a constant reminder of past hurts. If you're constantly questioning your partner's motives, snooping through their phone, or feeling insecure about their whereabouts, you need to address the root of the problem. Open and honest conversations are crucial. Lack of trust leads to jealousy, insecurity, and a whole lot of heartache. These feelings can create a toxic environment that's hard to escape from. It's a recipe for disaster. To build a lasting relationship, both partners must work together to cultivate and maintain trust. Only then can you create a strong, unshakable bond. Chapter 4. Different paths, different destinations. Can you really walk hand in hand? Now, having your own interests and aspirations is important in any relationship. It's what makes each person unique and brings a rich diversity to the partnership. But when your life goals are fundamentally different, it can create a huge rift. Imagine the strain when one person wants to climb the corporate ladder while the other dreams of a simple, laid-back lifestyle. It's like trying to fit a square peg into a round hole. No matter how hard you try, it's just not going to work. 
The friction can lead to frustration and feelings of inadequacy. If one of you dreams of traveling the world while the other is content with a quiet life at home, the disparity in desires can be challenging to reconcile. Or if one of you is laser focused on their career while the other prioritizes family, the imbalance can create feelings of neglect and misunderstanding. These differences can lead to conflict and resentment down the line. Over time, small disagreements can snowball into major issues that are hard to resolve. It's crucial to have a shared vision for the future. This doesn't mean you have to agree on everything, but having common goals can help you navigate through life's challenges together. To ensure you're both on the same page and working towards a common goal, regular communication and compromise are key. By aligning your dreams and aspirations, you can build a stronger, more resilient relationship. Chapter five, disrespect, the relationship killer. You can't ignore. Respect is non-negotiable, folks. It's the foundation of any healthy relationship. If you don't respect your partner, you're essentially saying they're not worthy of your love and consideration. And let me tell you, that's a dangerous game to play. Disrespect can manifest in many ways, belittling your partner, constantly criticizing them, dismissing their feelings or talking down to them. It's like chipping away at their self-esteem piece by piece. Over time, this lack of respect will erode the very fabric of your relationship, leaving you both feeling hurt, resentful and disconnected. Chapter six, emotional support. Who's got your back when the going gets tough? Look, life throws curveballs. It's inevitable. That's why having a partner who's there for you emotionally is so important. You need someone who's going to be your rock, your shoulder to cry on, your biggest cheerleader. If you're not getting that emotional support from your partner, it can leave you feeling alone, isolated, and emotionally drained. It's like going through a hurricane without a shelter. You're left exposed and vulnerable. Chapter seven. Money matters. Can your relationship survive financial disagreements? Let's face it, folks. Money can be a major source of stress in relationships. From everyday expenses to long-term financial goals, it's important to be on the same page when it comes to finances. If you and your partner have vastly different spending habits or you're constantly arguing about money, it can create a huge strain on your relationship. It's like a constant tug of war with each of you pulling in opposite directions. Chapter eight, values clash. Can you build a future on different foundations? Shared values and beliefs are the compass that guides your relationship. They shape your worldview, your priorities and your approach to life. When your core values clash with your partners, it can create a fundamental disconnect. It's like speaking different languages. You might be able to communicate on a surface level, but you'll never truly understand each other. If you have opposing views on religion, politics, family, or other fundamental aspects of life, it can lead to constant conflict and make it difficult to build a future together. Chapter nine, the physical disconnect. Is your love life fizzling out? Physical intimacy is an important part of a romantic relationship. It's a way to connect physically, emotionally, and spiritually with your partner. When that physical spark starts to fade, it can be a sign of deeper issues within the relationship. Now, I'm not just talking about sex here. It's about affection, touch, and intimacy in all its forms. If you find yourselves rarely touching, kissing, or expressing physical affection, it's important to address the underlying reasons why. This decline in physical intimacy can be a symptom of stress, resentment, or simply growing apart. Outra is your relationship worth fighting for. So there you have it, folks. Nine early warning signs that your relationship might be headed for trouble. If you recognize these signs in your own relationship, don't panic. It doesn't necessarily mean it's time to throw in the towel, but it does mean it's time to take a step back. Reflect on what's not working and have an honest conversation with your partner. Remember, relationships take work. And sometimes that means seeking professional help to navigate the tough stuff. Remember, recognizing these signs early can help you build a stronger, healthier relationship.